Hey, what's up guys? It's Casey with iTracker360 and I'm going to show you how to set up schedule once to track lead sources. So if you have somebody come into your site and maybe you have some tracking data or UTM parameters or whatever and somebody schedules an appointment with you and basically what you want to do is capture the lead source from the schedule once booking form. So here is um, how I have mine set up. I'm using the website embed, but it also works, you know, the other ways, whether you use a link or a button or whatever. Um, and how you can capture this is like in your schedule once activity stream, you can have a lead source here. Like I just have test for mine. Uh, so that's one place you can capture it. And since you're using a custom field, you can, um, it'll also be pushed into Infusionsoft. So on the appointments, when, when they schedule, you'll see the lead source in here as well for each appointment. And um, the actual lead source is set by schedule once. So it's the booking page and you know the length of the meeting or something like that. So you don't really have any control over that, but at least you can capture that data in the appointment and also in the activity stream. And if you'd like, you can map that lead source data or custom field to a Infusionsoft field. So the person notes or another custom field or something like that. So those are your options as far as capturing, you know, the tracking data. To set that up, um, you'll need to have a professional plan that allows you to create custom fields. And so if you have that, then inside schedule once, go to setup, go to your booking form editor. And on the booking form, what we need to do is create a custom field. So I'm going to add a custom field to my library and I'm going to put in lead source. So we're looking for the field uh, that's named lead source. So all lowercase one word. So create it just like that. The title, you can put whatever you want. I'm just going to put lead source. Seems straightforward to me. And do not display this field to customers. So this will add a field but it's going to be a hidden field basically so nobody's going to see see this but you uh, so let's save that field to our library and for whatever booking form they're using you'll need to add uh, this custom lead source field that we just created to your booking form so this is not going to be visible and so that's that's great this is exactly how you set it up so let's save the booking form our sa our changes are saved um, so at this point, let's give it a test. So I have this little sample HTML page where I took the uh, website embed code and embedded the schedule once, you know, form on here. And this this page is also running the eye tracker tracking snippet as well. So I'm going to go to this page. Um, the UTM data should be set in our eye tracker cookie, and I can you know take the UTM data off because now it's you know in a cookie. But I just want to show you that, you know, this will work without, you know, the parameters there in case, you know, people have to click multiple pages. So we're expecting back a lead source. Let, let me see what eye tracker has for the lead source currently. We're expecting a lead source of this fan page, book now, Facebook demo. So that's the lead source that we want to capture. So let's do a 15 minute meeting. Uh, we'll just leave it like that and select any slot. And I'm going to do test 8SO, because that's, that's what number I'm on. And this is another test. So I'm going to submit this record. Now, I have um, Infusionsoft, you know, the Infusionsoft CRM connector inside Schedule Once already kind of set up. So it's creating the appointments and all that stuff. But if you don't have that, that's fine, too, because inside schedule once you'll get the custom field in your activity stream you know when it creates the appointment um, so at least you can capture it there but so right now I'm just gonna let this finish and I'll show you you know the data basically for this contact so here's test 8 and here's their their the bookings confirmed so let's go into Infusionsoft let's see if we captured the tracking data and it looks like under the appointments, um, I don't know why it created two appointments, but I'm not worried about it. So here is the lead source right here. 
and then if you go into the activity um, I don't know why there's a 15 minute and a 60 minute meeting maybe oh the other one was from a different email address that's why so the 15 minute meeting here here's the the lead source right here so these are the other you know test leads I was submitting so there's the lead source the and we also saw that in the um, contact record under the appointment notes and uh, yeah that's basically it just create a field a custom field in schedule once called lead source all lowercase one word set it as hidden add it to your booking form embed your booking form somewhere make sure our eye tracker code is running on that page and what we can do is send in the lead source field and schedule once will capture that in this lead source field and then you can do whatever you want to do with it so that's that's how you set that up let me know if you have any questions or you run into any issues thanks